Here we go, checking in with your weather authority and once again tracking another massive hurricane. Yeah, we're going to have the latest on Maria and also some uh, some winds blowing into town tonight. Yeah, yeah, starting with our local weather, but an update on Maria now regaining strength as a major hurricane, now a category three again. We'll get to that in just a moment, but first our conditions outside this afternoon. We got to 92 degrees today. You know what that means? We get to give another hundred dollars to the Blind Center of Nevada because we were uh, within that three degree guarantee. A closer look at the temperatures today. It was pretty close to normal. Look at that overnight temperature at 70. Uh, very close to what we typically see this time of year, but I'll tell you we'll, what will not be normal are numbers over the next few days. How about 15 degrees below this for the highest temperature of the day? That's what we're expecting, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But thanks to this windstorm that's blowing in, that's the cause of those temperatures that will drop significantly by the end of the work week. Earlier today, we already saw some gusty winds to 46 miles an hour at the Lake Mead Marina, 41 mile an hour winds in Henderson, as well as the northwestern part of the Las Vegas Valley. Still some lingering breezes outside tonight, gusts mostly to 20 and 30. These numbers will be in the 40 and 50 mile an hour range tomorrow. Temperatures outside, a mixture of upper 70s to low 80s in the Las Vegas Valley. And oh boy, are we getting ready for a cool down. But first, the turbulent weather for tonight is uh, still breezy throughout the rest of the evening. By tomorrow morning, those winds will start picking up significantly by the late morning hours with the strongest winds expected in the afternoon. A wind advisory already in effect for the entire southern Nevada area for those gusts that will reach up to 45 miles an hour in town and around the region with some of the highest winds peaking over 55 miles an hour by the afternoon along the Spring Mountains. Red Rock can see these very strong winds and it's all coming from the north. Here's the storm right here already starting to cross through portions of Nevada, bringing along some rain. We may even see some high elevation snow for the Sierra. Following that is going to be very cold air coming from the Gulf of Alaska, literally bringing us a chill in the air over the next few days. The front will be passing through late tomorrow night and then we'll start to really feel the chilly temperatures into Friday with overnight temperatures in in the 50s. I hope you're ready for this. Also, Hurricane Maria, now a Category 5 hurricane. You can see the core right here just north of the Dominican Republic. Here's the track, still maintaining that major hurricane strength. It's moving at about 9 miles an hour to the northwest. You can see it's going to continue its motion over the Dominican Republic through tomorrow night, nearing Turks and Caicos tomorrow night into Friday. And as we take a look, it is going to lose a little bit of momentum as it continues its way up the Atlantic, staying far away Away from the mainland of the United States, turning into a Category 1 hurricane by Monday afternoon. Coming back to Las Vegas, still breezy tonight, lows in the 70s for the valley. Regionally, will be a little bit cooler in the 60s for Overton, 61 for Prump, 63 in Sandy Valley, and 40s on the mountain. It's going to get colder than that, my friends. Upper 80s on tap tomorrow afternoon for Overton and Lake Mead, 84 for Boulder City. We're looking at highs in the 70s for Sandy Valley and Indian Springs. Las Vegas, temperatures won't be very warm. Take a look at this. Highs we're going to get is low 80s by the afternoon, 83 degrees for your projected high temperature, gusts to 45 and 50 miles an hour. When we see 50 mile an hour winds in the valley, that's when we can start seeing some damage around town. And this is what, is, what it's going to look like. The strongest winds expected in the afternoon, these winds slowly backing off into the evening. And as we take you out the next seven days, including your weekend forecast, the chill is still in the air, not only for the first day of fall, but lingering into Saturday. Temperature slowly creeping into the 80s. 80s by Sunday and then a gradual warm up all the way into next week. For more updates on your local neighborhood forecast, Kelly will have you up to date starting at 4 30 in the morning on News 3 Today with Team Wagner.